Hey guys, it's Lauren here from Behind the Scene, and we're here today with Matt Cavalera from Soulfly. How are you going today, Matt? I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm great, actually. Really, really, really pumped for, um, I think it's Saturday for us, but Friday, Friday for you guys. So we've got two days until your release of Ritual, so I'm pretty excited. I'm sure the rest of the world is. How are you feeling about it? Yeah, I'm very pumped. You know, it's... Uh... We worked very hard on this album all all the way back from January. We entered the studio mm-hmm. the second day of January. Uh, so it was like the cool, that's so cool. The, the cool way to start the year. Like, let's go <laughs> right into metal, like writing new records, you know? Uh, of course, uh, of course, of course I've been preparing this album since last year, so... Yeah. Um, but we entered the studio, I think, January 2nd. January second. So since last year, so I, I assume after the after the release of Psychosis. Try to stay busy as much as you can. You know, I love I love to uh, keep busy, keep mm-hmm. keep writing, recording, touring. That's what keeps me alive. You know, the the metal oh. uh, keeps me alive and keeps me uh, excited for for life in general. You know. Yeah, definitely. I can tell. I mean, with all of the work that you do. It's uh, it's really incredible. So, so with this, with this album that you've got, uh, Ritual, Ritual coming out October the nineteenth. You yourself, have you um, where have you sort of gotten this in, in inspiration from? You got any sort of rituals that you do in order to um, work yourself up to, to start writing and get working? Yeah, inspiration comes a lot of, from the music, of course, mm. especially the music I listen to. And it's everything from all the new bands that I listen to, like Gay Creeper and Nails and um, Other Heaven, yes. to classic stuff like Something mm. Frost, Battery, you know, nice. Morbid Angel, uh, yeah. and all the way to, like, especially this album, we went a little bit back to the uh, original Soulfly sound. So I went yeah. back and started listening to the stuff I was listening when I was making Soulfly 1. Which is a lot of Chico yeah. Science, Brazilian bands, Chico Science, and some Zumbie, um, and a lot of uh, uh, you know some Ministry, yeah, um, awesome. some Death Zones, you know. So mm. Mm. it's cool. Uh, I think uh, Ritual is a bit of a blend. It's got that tribal feeling, big time with the Navajos recordings mm. and the groove back in songs like Ritual, Bite the Bullet, but yeah. it also have Expanding the the death thrash element on Dead Behind the Eyes and definitely, on the Rapture. Yeah. You know, I even I, I said the album's gonna be a, a tribal death thrash, and I like that so much. I want to put that on a T-shirt. Just said yeah. tribal <laughs> death thrash on a T-shirt. I oh, that's that an incredible cool. idea. Yeah. <laughs> no, oh, definitely, and I, I totally dig the whole um, the whole world vibe that you've got going on with it. It's it's really something else. You've really sort of created. Your own niche with that um, with that sound, which is it, it's very cool, it's very cool. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> so um, so with Dead Behind the Eyes, I know that you've worked with Randy Blythe on that one. Um, that was that's pretty cool. Have you done any other sort of surprises uh, for for the listeners? Any other cool cool guests guests coming in? Yeah, the album was you know. Uh of course, Randy Blythe, famous mm-hmm. Lamb of God singer. Uh, mm-hmm. I read his book. I was, you know, mesmerized by his book. It's a very interesting story. And mm-hmm. You feel for the guy, you know. It's like such a horrible ordeal he had to go through. Uh, and he's a super cool guy, man. I met him a couple of times. You know, in Australia, we actually toured together with Killer Be Kill. Um, he's super chill, super cool. You can tell metal, you know, he's a metal hardcore guy. Yeah. He's a whole school guy like mm-hmm. us, you know. So it was so cool having him on this record. To me, it gave a lot of credibility to the album uh, yeah. with somebody that, uh, like us, like, you know, a living, breathing metal guy like us. And, Definitely. of course, also Ross from uh, Immolation. Um, oh, yeah. Big fan of Immolation, like I am. I'm a big death metal fan, like everybody knows. Yeah. Immolation is one of the uh, four, you know, the, the foundation of death metal, the early 90s. Emulation was already kicking ass. They yeah. uh, they released. They don't have one bad record. Everything they put out is great. I love every record they put out. You know, having Ross yeah. in the song was so great, man. His voice is so killer. I wrote that section just for him. It was 
specifically like handmade for him. He's got like death metal rips and you know blast beats and chugging guitars, almost (laughs) like an old Slayer kind of tune mixed with Morbid Angel, mixed with Immolation. Um, And Ross' vocals are fucking amazing, you know, like earth shattering when he says rapture is like. The earth moves beneath me. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, so, so that's so, yeah, be on uh, feedback, another cool track, a little bit motorhead kind of track. Yeah, beautiful. Well, you know, some people thought that was a cover song. Actually, sounds ah. so much like motorhead. They thought it was a cover song, but <laughs> it, it's no reason. It's not a cover. Yeah, right. Cool. So you got a, a fair bit of um, fair bit of elements happening in this new album, which is really exciting, and um. The launch party and the launch party happening the day of the release in California, Affliction Studios. That's really exciting. So, yeah, you don't really stop. And then you're doing a North America tour. Do you think you'll be doing an Australian tour um, to follow up with that? <laughs> Hopefully. I hope so, big time. You know, like, um, in fact, I, w- w- the one thing I would have liked to see is uh, Soulfly and Nail Bomb together in Australia would have been cool because... It's almost like the same guys that do Nail Bomb is Soulfly mm-hmm. anyway. Um, Soulfly was a band that played Nail Bomb with, you know, with, with addition of Igor on vocals. Yeah. So we yeah. can actually pull that up, you know, and I think yeah, we're we could do it. Uh, we could mm-hmm. do the whole Nail Bomb and then we could go and do a whole Soulfly set and uh, I think yeah. the fans would go, hey, shit for that, you know. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely. Just, it's a great night of metal. <laughs> yeah, would you so let's hope so, you know, like, uh, Let's hope so, yeah. Yeah, we have the new, uh, the tour starts in January, America here with Cataclysm and Insight. Mm-hmm. And, uh, after that, we just, uh, we we'll have to see, but I hope Australia will definitely on the, on the, on the plans for the tour. Oh, we certainly hope so. I'm sure everyone, everyone can agree with me. Um, so, so with the, back, back to the new album, uh, with, with the songs, that you've got, which one is which one is the one that really resonates with you the most? Do you feel, or is it more of a um, start to finish type of thing? Like, what what is what's the feel behind this this whole album? Where's the inspiration? Well, to me, the song that really kind of spoke to my soul mm. in terms of of uh, doing something that was really uh, difficult to do. It was ritual. Uh, the title track, um, yeah. and, th- and that's because it's kind of like it's it's, it's uh, it has all the makings of a classic song. Yeah. So I think it'll be a, a future classic soulfly song for the ages. Yeah. And so it's a bit like uh, like a Roots Bloody Roots or uh, Back to the Primitive or Prophecy, one of those yeah. very strong soulfly sepultura songs that sticks with mm-hmm. you. And I think the chorus is really cool. I mean, the guitar the intro is great. The, the yeah. Navajo chant on it's it's the tribal song of the That's album that I wanted to do for a long time, and I'm yeah. so happy that we got to do it on this one. You know, I, I, this album would have been the same without this song. This song it's keeps true. everything the right way. You know, it starts the right way. Yeah, um, definitely. So yeah, I think between that and uh, I like the two collaboration songs, Under Rapture and That Behind the Eyes, uh, are also very, very uh, amazing. Came out really amazing. And Blood on the Street, because it's a true story of a novel girl that was murdered, and that kind of really hits home with me. Wow. Uh, seeing the death of Dana and the death of my father. Um, yeah. The girl was murdered and nothing happened. The police kill her and nothing happened to them yeah. the injustice and uh, it's a heavy song it really has a we really have words like she never knew she was next and uh, yeah it's really haunting really brutal um, yeah. I like this song very much that's yeah that's incredible and it's really incredible that um, all of your lyrics sort of have a deeper a deeper message deeper and, you know, maybe perceived darker, but a, a deeper message all the same. And, you know, that's something that really resonates with a lot of a lot of people. And that's, you know, a big reason as to why everyone's such a, a massive fan of you guys, because you guys have so much depth. So it's it's really appreciated in the, in this society, of course, especially in the death metal and the metal society in general. Um, and with all of this, 
you know, with everything that you guys have done. Um, I know I've, I've read a couple of things about you wanting to do a documentary. I mean, do you feel like, do you feel like you'd be ready to do that anytime soon? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm waiting for the right time. We, you know, we just, I did the book a couple of years ago. Yeah. My Bloody Roots. I think it came out really good. People that read it really liked it. They thought it was really fun. Yeah. Really, it was really fun to read. It was like, uh, it was like actually me telling them the stories. It was like a one on one kind of thing. Yeah. If we find the right guy to do the documentary, I'll definitely do it. I'd love to do mm. a full on Max documentary where it goes back all the way to Brazil and researches all my roots in Brazil, my mm. family roots, and, and gives, it's gotta be full on, you know, like, like, like a real, real hardcore documentary, really exploring the whole thing, you know, mm. talking to old friends, talking to teachers, you know, family members, like the real yeah. thing, you know. Um, so let's see. Let's see if I, if I find the right person to do that. I'll definitely yeah. would love to to create, uh, you know, a, fun, a really cool documentary about my whole life. I think it would have been really cool. Yeah, that would be incredible. And something for the fans, you know, your fans. Oh, I wanted to thank all the fans. It's been great. I mean, Australian fans especially have been really cool. Mm-hmm. All the way back to the early Sepultura days, to the big day out with, yeah, with Soulfly, uh, mm-hmm. Killer BQ, uh, yeah. Return to Roots. Uh, Australia is amazing, uh, amazing. And they, one of the places I have the, the most fans is Australia in the world. So I want to thank them. And I want, I hope they really enjoy getting to into ritual. Oh. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, it's made it's, yeah, by the fan, for the fans. Yeah, yeah, man. Well, um, I can't speak on behalf of the whole country, but or continent, should I say? But um, I can definitely say that this stuff is really groovy, and I know a lot of people who are digging it. So, yeah, let's hope we can't we see you, and uh, we can appreciate it a hundred times more. <laughs> right on. Very keen. Appreciate it. Nice talking to you. <laughs> you too, Max. You take it easy, and good luck with everything. Okay, have a good tour. All right. Take care. Bye.